106.5 Bandango Radio, new alternative first. I am Zane Malone and Bandango listeners. It is time for the Bandango Info Candy Mini-Series. Look how excited you are, Paul. We learn important local information that helps us live better while also taking care of our city and environment. So, kids, for this series, I wanted to get a little dirty. And I want to talk about... Our Legacy of Garbage! So, to help me, I have asked... For the true unsung superhero that helps keep the city of Corpus Christi from looking like Pixar's movie Wally. In the Bandango Studios, from Corpus Christi Solid Waste Services, we have Paul Bass! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Don't worry, Paul, I'm gonna be putting in like crowd noises and stuff, so you'll feel pretty pimp. It's good. It's gonna be good. Thank you for being here, Paul. Well, it's good to be here, Zane. Thank you, man. This is going to be fun. I am in a mode because I've been thinking about my personal waste and waste management and things like that, getting ready for you to come in here. And I know people are like, oh, we're going to be talking about trash. But no, not just that. We're going to be talking a little bit about the philosophy. What is my personal relationship with my trash, Paul? You are here to be the guide to the guide of how to properly get rid of my personal trash to not harm animals and people and stuff like that. Don't feel pressure, Paul. Okay, we tried to make it easy for you. Okay, I appreciate that. So, Paul, first, can you tell the Bantango listeners a little bit about yourself and what you do over at SWS? Well, I'm assistant director for collections. I manage the collection of garbage and recycling and brush. That's my main job. That is the main job. And how long have you been doing it for? I've been there 17 years, loving every bit of it. Oh, my gosh. That's perfect. We can talk about all the, you know, minutia of can you put tires on the curb and what size trash and what the pickups are. And a lot of that information is on cctexas.com, right? Yes, sir. You bet. If you go there under Solid Waste Services, of course, you'll see all the detail on our services. Okay, perfect. So they can go and get information on that. And we'll talk, you know, I'm sure we'll talk about something like have you ever found a dead body or any of that stuff. Um, Have you personally found a dead body? No, I have not personally. Okay, probably good. I mean, they probably deserved it, and it's better to just keep that information under wraps. You don't want anyone after you, right, Paul? No, no, definitely not. Definitely not. We have, you know, searched for rings and important legal papers and stuff like that before. Yeah. But no dead bodies? No. Good. I say that's a record you should keep. Do you have that written on a board? <laughs> Uh, something like that. Yeah. Days without uh, finding corpse. Yeah, along there with days with no lost time accidents. Exactly. <laughs> yes. There you go. That is fantastic. Well, now, like I said, we're going to deal with a little bit of our personal philosophy. So mm-hmm. I look at the ocean. I get really excited when it's clean. I know that you guys are helping so much because where who who takes out the trash besides you uh who takes out the trash i mean who picks up the trash and takes it to the landfill and makes sure it's disposed properly and environmentally safe way i don't know i think it's just mostly me and well on the commercial side i got to give those guys credit too they're out there picking up trash for all the commercial accounts yes sir absolutely but if not we would be back burning trash or digging our own holes, can't, which, of course, is not good. Can't even imagine. Can't even imagine. It, it takes uh, people to make that happen. Absolutely. Of- and that's why I just I get excited and I appreciate you because I think a lot of people just don't think. Like, when I go crazily and eat a candy bar, I just rip the wrapper off and then shove it in my face in a pre-diabetic craze and then just toss the wrapper like it doesn't exist. And that's my trash. I made that. So right. I need to have some sort of responsibility on how I get that to you so you can then do the professional stuff and make sure that it Absolutely. goes right. Absolutely. Put it in a container for goodness sake. Yes, sir. And that's so that's candy wrappers. But then what happens when you have other things and you know minor broken up plastics and things that might be toxic and things that can actually hurt the environment and fish or blow away in our 
constantly windy city. Well, we all have a responsibility to deal with our own garbage, that's for sure. And on CSTexas.com, you can obviously find out the best ways to pack your trash can and stuff like that, Absolutely. Right? Recycling programs, household hazardous ways, how to dispose of those hard to dispose of items. Yes, sir. That. See, I'm excited. See, you can make trash. Cool, man. <laughs> Sorry. Did I mention I drink a lot of coffee, Paul? I had to cut myself, so we're, I'm but trying to catch up. But you're all sedate and mellow, and I'm like, yeah, trash! <laughs> <laughs> but this is exciting. So why don't you tell me your personal philosophy? Like, what gets you 17 years you said you've been doing this? With the solid waste department. With I the, have been sol- so 17 years. So when you get up in the morning to get to work, what drives you to go there? So, I mean, you know, it sounds a little corny. It's about public service. It's about knowing you're helping your community. It's like you're doing a job that a lot of people may not be interested in doing, but they may not really understand how technical it is and how important it is to your community. Absolutely. So public health and safety, number one. That is great. And you enjoy doing your job. You know I do. That is, you bet I do. That is good. If you guys could see right now, Paul is literally dead staring me <laughs> right in the eye when he says that. I believe this man. I believe this man is passionate about this. And I think a lot of the people that work down there with you have got to be passionate about this. Well, they have to be. For sure they do. That's not, you know, that's not the most glamorous job. That's for sure. And you're hauling garbage, and sometimes garbage, you know, smells a little bad. You go to the landfill, and sometimes it might smell a little bad on a hot day, too. Right. But uh, you're doing, like, say, this public service, and at the end of the day, it's good, clean money. At the end. Yeah, absolutely. And we're going to get to the good, clean money part, because you guys are having a big job fair coming up. Really excited to promote our job fair. This is going to be cool. So... <laughs> As most of our listeners know, Zane doesn't get paid that much <laughs> to be at Van Tanko. I'm looking at this job fair thing you got going on, and I'm like, wow, this is a pretty good thing. So you guys are looking for workers right now. If somebody wants to be passionate about helping the community and making a good wage, doing something that's really important, you guys are hiring. We absolutely are. Oh. We're looking for men and women with Class A or Class B CDLs right now. Okay, so you guys are having a job fair Wednesday, August 10th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., J.C. Elliott Transfer Station. 7001 Ayers Street. Okay, it says on this uh, flyer here we got on-the-spot hiring, interview, apply, fill out pre-employment paperwork, two forms of ID, proof of education history, so a high school diploma or GED will get you in? Absolutely. That's That counts me out. Okay, bank information probably also counts me out. Uh, form or voided check. <laughs> That's for just your direct deposit when we hire you. Yeah, oh, we'll, get okay. you, we'll get you paid. So that you can get paid. And you, what did you say the starting pay is on this? I think we said 19 bucks an hour. $19 an hour. Now, okay, there are jobs, of course, once you get up there that pay more. Right. But That's the starting pay. And I mean, if you have more experience, we can do better. So that is great. 19 bucks is a great start and pay. And plus, you guys have benefits and... Of course there's great benefits. We have uh, medical and dental plans, and we've got a lot of variation in those plans that best suits you for your your health and and how much you want to spend on that. We've got vacation, uh, personal leave, sick leave. Uh, We've got a deferred comp plan for people who want to retire someday. You want to start setting that money aside, flexible spending account, tuition reimbursement. Yeah, it's just a great, fun place to work. I just got to say that. Paul, that sounds absolutely fantastic for something that really, really is. You can get up in the morning, and this is the type of gig you could be proud of. Because when you see those streets, and they're clean, and the people in the city understand that there is a magical truck that shows up a couple times a week and takes the things that you don't want anymore or your trash and puts it somewhere safe, that is a very comfortable feeling, especially coming from places where I've lived before where the waste management service isn't doing a great job. And the trash is all over the streets, and, and it's it's a horrible thing. So what you are doing is really important. Our, our drivers are true professionals. I'll say that. They've got the skills, the dexterity, everything it takes to operate those big trucks safely, get through the neighborhoods, not 
have any accidents, uh, hurt any kids, pedestrians, pets. Uh, so many uh, hazards are out there on the road for our drivers. And, and these guys really are true professionals. Doggone it! Paul, these men and women are darn near superheroes. They are great. They are all great. <laughs> so once again, if they are, it says right here, cctexasjobs.com. If you miss the uh, job fair, they can still get in there and, and sign up and try oh, to get a job. Oh, heck yeah. They can go on cctexas.com uh, right now. Mm -hmm. Look at careers at the bottom of the homepage on the cctexas.com homepage, and you'll see careers and look for sanitation operator one or two. It's right there. Paul, this has been such a magical time. <laughs> I never thought I'd be so excited to talk about trash pickup. But I'm I, excited too. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to mention one more thing. Okay. And that is uh, when you're a city of Corpus Christi solid waste uh, worker, you're also going to help the community in times of need. If there's any kind of natural disaster, a hurricane, a flood, our guys are called essential employees and we want them to be there. So that's something to consider when you sign up to work for the city. Uh, there's, there can be extenuating circumstances with family and stuff that it will exempt you from that requirement, but we want you to sign up and serve your community. And this is for men, women, you have a diversity program in place. Absolutely. You want, you want everyone that is qualified, that's passionate about service to get in there and get working with you. We could sure use them. Paul, it's been a pleasure to have you. Zane, it's been my pleasure to be here. Well, Bantango listeners, we're going to get back to some more great Bantango music coming right up.